All right, I'm getting this guy. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Get him, get him. Let's go. Someone link me the trailer. Holy shit, wait, you guys are all ready. What the f man? Oh shit, let's go! Did XCR did react to this? Yeah, XCR already reacted. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, whatever. We'll go back in game. There's some wacky music. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I like this animation. Is this animation from YouTube or Apex? That's a very good question. I actually don't know. Seven, six, five. I removed the sponsor overlay. It's fine. What are they going to do? Kick me out of the team? <laughs> right? Liquid, please. The Hammond Robotics Pause Planet champ. Harvester. Ooh, that looks really cool. Hammond Robotics. Those are kind of cool. Robotics. We are here for you. I'm scared. You know what this another day, another Ooh. road. I'll see you, Shade. Uh. Recharged and ready for battle. Ah, yeah. Oh no. No, no, no. There it is! The zipline shooting! Dude, that kid is so cool! Is that the end of it? Dude, wait, I can't watch it again? Come on! Let me watch it! Dude. Dude, look at that, man! That looks so good! Not this one, not this one. That no, no, no. This one, though! How the f*** are you gonna hit this guy? Look at him, man! He's got more unrealistic curves than anime does! That's probably the coolest skin of Apex Legends. E-Girl Watson? Wait. True. Actually true. True! It's 0-2! This skin looked really cool. Another day, another road. Actually, does it? God, I wish I had like a like a really like b bright blue color or something instead of the purple. I'll see you shaking. Recharged and Literal e girl skin. Nice. Oh, what the fuck? Those are not the thighs I like. I want real thighs. What the fuck did they do to her thighs, man? She looks like Anna. She looks like an old. She actually looks like Anna. Wait, what is that gun? I'm sure they're weapon skins. That's a flatline, I think. I'll see you Alternator. Shaking. Recharged and ready for battle. What is that? Oh, it's an R301. Oh yeah, it is. That looks really good, though. That iron sight looks really good. Dude, this- I fuck with this, man. I fuck with this shit. That looks good. I'd spend money on this. That looks really good. Look at that. That looks so good. I don't... So why did they remove muzzle flash in the trailer, but not go back to the Watson? No, that's the R301. The R this one. Isn't it? Is, it's not an R301? It's the Volt? Damn, I really wanted that to be an R301 skin. That would make me use the gun. Volt would be energy? I mean, this could still be energy. They definitely did better on the skins so far than anything else. So, this has been changed, right? This is new, this area. This is new. That's so cool. I like this big ass fucking gap. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks just about the same. I don't really see many changes here. Wait, that JB skin is so ugly. <laughs> Dude, what? That looks like some... <laughs> yeah, let's get a green shirt with some yellow armor and a red face mask shield. Match it with his helmet. It looks like a nerf gun. <laughs> Dude, what? Hunter. Woo! I love that they're showcasing the G7 Scout in my game. Here I go. Wait, what was that? What's that uh, that triangle icon? Here I, go. Here I go. I guess that has to be something with Revenant? Crypto, no. Crypto, you see it highlighted. Crypto, you see the entire character. Maybe they changed it? Oh, Bloodhound scan. Wait, is that actually the Bloodhound scan? I, w I wouldn't know. Here I go. Imagine having a Peacekeeper and choosing to kick the E-Girl skin. God, that skin looks so fucking cool, though. That looks really good. Yeah, no new weapons here. 
Extraordinary breakthrough solutions. That looks really cool. Manufacture Same guns. Now Wait, is that going to be a spot in the game where you can find weapons? That's really good. If they have multiple spots like this, where you can go, like, knowing that, okay, there's always going to be certain weapons in here. And they have different vaults across the map, so you don't have to completely, like... That would be good, because it doesn't look like a vault. Because you can see outside and stuff. This looks like one of the buildings in the new compound area next to Epicenter. It looks like one of the buildings just by, like, the colors and stuff outside here. It looks like it's in here, looking out that way. Or maybe it's in there? Key scan on the door? Holy shit, we need a lab key card in this game too, man? Fuck, it's gonna cost me so many rubles. Plans. Wait, where was the blue loot bin? Oh, right there! Progress. See that? That's cool. Revolutionizing and into the future. That looks really cool. I really like that. Future. That looks like so much better, man. That looks really cool. I bet you the loot's gonna be awful in Capital now. Scrims are gonna be garb. I don't see anything else except for like... I, I wonder if this affects it further because you can see the glow over there. Oh, the dildo's gone! What?! Dude, the dildo's gone! What the fuck? Hell yes, man! Look at that! Let's go. No more G7 camping dildo. Pepe hands? Get to Pepe hands? No, no, no. I guess I never realized. Is committed to leading the outlands into the future. Through so where is this? I know where this is. I didn't realize Epicenter was actually like this. Hey, you think it's six months? That's a cute security. emoji. I love this. I fucking love this. It has to be. It literally has to be in the building I pointed out. It has to be, right? It's like, right here. It has to be like in there, looking that way, right? I feel like that's where it is. Maybe a new training spot. Plans I hope that they have given us more consistently accessible plan. like rotation, like a uh, weapon. Like you can get gear, you can get weapons in more spots. This spot is Pog. It looks cool. Yeah, this is going to be a fun spot to fight. I think I like this. I hope you can't be up here with rat spot in these rafters and shit. I bet you there's going to be those problems. Another fucking sniper rifle in this fucking game. I'm done for real. Every fucking FPS game has an AR and SMG and priority and a, like a couple of sniper rifles. Here in Apex with fucking six snipers when we have only four ARs and three SMGs. Nice game. Sit in camp for days, bitch. <laughs> Do you think this is going to be like some fucking social game mode where you can just load on in your character and chat with people in their shitty voice system? Or why are people role playing like this? Outland. You think there are roleplay Discord servers that do roleplay sniper snipe cues? <laughs> I never thought of that. Uh -uh. Is it from map update? Dildo is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Dildo is gone. Let's go. Ooh, that's where that was. So the, the loot ship must be in there, right? Weapon racks. These are guaranteed weapons placed on racks in the small buildings of survey camp. They'll recognize them from training or the firing range. His, his should give play. Come on, really? His, this should give players to purchase a good weapon over a premier drop location a new decision to make. We're always excited to try flipping Battle Royale's rules on their heads, and we look forward to seeing how this future influences player, where player drops. Content may change as we listen to community feedback. Uh -huh. Now, if you jump into the fissure that cuts through Capital City, you'll be able to slowly be carried back up from the heated, pressurized air and allowed to coast across and land on the other side. This is balanced by two things. First, you take 25 damage from the intense heat and embers floating inside. This is a consistent amount of damage every time you drop back down. Second, you travel very slowly in third person while moving in the updraft. You're essentially a flying loot pinata for any nearby enemy players. Our main concern with this feature was allowing players to escape fights they are losing by sliding into the fissure and sailing away. We think the damage and slow rise makes the players respect the gap while in a firefight, while in common moments, allowing players to have a fun and experiment with this new space without the risk of immediate death. This large fissure can only be crossed in two locations. Hmm. By sending the fissure straight through Capital City and creating some dead space in between, we essentially split this area into two separate zones for place to land in. That means that's good. You can only be crossed in two locations. Zip liner, fallen sky. That's going to make rotations awful. Why do they, like, having only two locations where you can cross, just because it doesn't look like a mountain with a tiny hole, doesn't mean it's not going to act like a choke point with rotations. Imagine getting stuck because you have to run over and you have to fucking take a zip line or walk, like, come on, man. This allows teams some breathing room to control one side after the drop, reducing the risk of running to third parties from the other side of the city. Use Watson or Acoustic to control the choke points for extra security. I love that they just endorse gatekeeping even. Um... Why did they only add weapon racks at only one spot in the map, though? And the lighting looks, I don't know, okay. I don't know. I don't really, I like the old ones more. In the trailer, you see two legends jump in the fissure and come back out at the 147 mark. Surprise! Oh, true. Yeah. Let's, uh, it's to get players to make new decisions. As if third party won't just be the only decision people make. Multi-level design. So you can be on a lot of levels, maybe? Or is it just like, huh? How, why, with its large multi-level design, isn't that just literally any building they have in, like, any city? I feel like that's not really revolutionary, having multi-level design. 
Parts of larger self-contained squads will tend to enter the fight through the long hallways that lead to the center of the structure. This should make third parties a little more predictable and hopefully easier to defend against. I mean, I, I like that they keep in mind third parties with map design, but in, in, I think the core problem with third parties is just balancing. All right, let's do this. Duos, nothing. Solos, nothing. Muzzle flash, nothing. Visual clutter, nothing. I like the changes though. I just wish that this wasn't just in, in one spot. Only in Serbia camp, which would be here. Which I, I'm a little big brain for figuring out the exact location from the trailer off of just this footage. Just a little bit though. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And I know it's, it's here. Muzzle flash looks fixed in the trailer. Was muzzle flash a problem in the season three trailer? That's the new sniper, huh? It looks cool, bolt action. As well as a new town takeover coming. What the fuck is that town takeover chat? Coming later in season four. We hope you're as excited to play the new, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to play the new map, that's for sure. I knew some of these changes were coming already, but seeing them is definitely refreshing because like this looks cool. I like this. I just wish it would destroy sorting because sorting's OP. He kind of fucked some of our scrim jobs though. Yeah, I think it was like 500. The Octane ring in S1 is a town takeover. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, that's good. <clears throat> I don't know. I hope they just nerf all the other snipers. I really hope that was an Arthur 1 skin though. And ready for battle. I hope that's an Arthur 1 skin. My god, it looks so good. Oh my god, look at this iron scythe, dude. I really hope it is. The silencer on the RE45 the Jibby is running is just a gold barrel. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I don't think they would add a silencer. The Devo already has one, so. Jibby's guys are so bad. No, what? They nail music, though. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, holy shit. I just had a three-head moment. Dude, this looks like a giant beacon to me. Just looking at this. I didn't realize it was right next to him. What the fuck, man? I'm just three head. Damn, I was just, I was five head a minute ago. That, that's just like gold barrel, I think. They need to use a gold barrel because otherwise when they're shooting, there's too much muzzle flash to see anything in the trailer. I'm glad they didn't fix the sun glare because we all love the sun glare. Muzzle flash was non-existent in the season three trailer. Wow, it actually was. Maybe tomorrow. Cool, so we're not getting a fix. Hopefully, maybe we do. I think we analyze this to perfection now. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what is this like some so social game mode? Like, what is what is this? Like, what? Apex RP? You wouldn't mind a social game mode? Bro, the mic doesn't even work in this game. <laughs> and what's the point of RPing if you can't take your clothes off? Let's go play video game. I didn't mean to say that. What?